there is still a high chance of an eruption. Probable sequence of events for the next few days. The volume of magma under Svartsenji continues to increase, which could end up with a new magma flow and even an eruption. An eruption could start at very short notice, even less than 30 minutes. An eruption is most likely to occur in the area between Storoskogfell and Hagafell. Model calculations show that magma accumulation under Svartsenji continues at the same rate as before. In previous events, magma has flowed when the total amount of magma accumulated under Svartsenji is between 8 and 13 million cubic meters. The total amount of magma under Svartsenji has exceeded that limit. Pressure in the magma chamber continues to build, and there is an increased chance of a new magma flow into the Sunnux crater series and even an eruption in the coming days. Since Friday, around 140 earthquakes have been recorded near the Sunnux Giga series and Grindavik. The vast majority of the earthquakes are small earthquakes below 1.0 in magnitude, but the largest earthquake was 2.8 in magnitude on Friday evening at a depth of about 5 km near Orbjörn. In the last two to three days, there has been a slight increase in the number of earthquakes in the area, but this may be due to the fact that the weather has been calm for the last few days and the measuring devices are therefore more sensitive to small earthquakes. The Icelandic Meteorological Office has updated the risk assessment in light of the latest data. The risk assessment is unchanged from the last version. The new risk assessment takes effect today, Tuesday, March 12th at 15 and is valid until Tuesday, March 19th, without any changes. An unusually tight sequence of events so far. As we reported in a news article last week, the magma run on March 2nd behaved in a different way during the summer than previous magma runs. Scientists will continue to collect more data to see if the March 2nd sequence of events is a sign that the activity associated with the magma accumulation under Svartsenji and the unusually fast sequence of events with repeated magma flows and subsequent eruptions is changing. Previously, the sequence of events in the Sunnux crater series has been compared to the sequence of events that occurred in the Kraflu fires that began in 1975. In a 10-year period, there were 20 magma flows and nine of them ended with an eruption, see diagram below. In Krafluweld, the magma flows all entered the same magma passage, but were of different magnitudes. However, the eruptions did not occur with the regular intervals we have seen so far in the Sunnux crater series, and in fact it is very unusual how constant the activity has been so far. Source, IMO